Welcome to my craft table. Hi, this is Jamie Magrich coming to you from my craft table. Uh, today I'd like to show you, let me get it out, how to make this card. It's a cute, it's fairly easy. Um, it does take some fussy cutting and these are embossed, but uh, let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, this is Jamie Magrich coming to you from Jamie's Craft Table and we're going to make this card today. Um, let me show you what we're going to need. Um, it uses three stamp sets. We're going to The basic stamp set is Butterfly Wishes. We're going to be using this butterfly and the sentiment, I'm just using part of it, Celebrate You. I've cut the Love 2 off of there. And we're using this flower and this sleeve. Okay, out of a Colorful Seasons, there's this little teeny, whoops, let me get in there. Little teeny tiny dot. It's a center of flower or snowflake or something. I'm using that to uh, emboss in the center of the flowers. And then swirly frames. I'm using this one. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, for paper, I have a scrap paper to stamp my flowers on. I have a piece of Whisper White. It's a thin, regular one, which is four by five and a quarter. I have a piece of Melon Mambo, which I have spritzed with um, a mist made with Frost White um, all-purpose ink. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have a card base which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Close to the side. We're also going to be using the gold embossing powder. I have a coffee filter to put that into. Versifying ink. Granny apple green ink. Melon mambo ink. The butterfly duet punch. Hair snips for fussy cutting the flowers because they don't have dyes and some snail and a few dimensionals so let's get started first thing I'm going to do I'm going to stamp some flowers and some leaves so that uh, I they dry okay and I'm using this one And we need six flowers. I've already um, done some, but so basically that's what I'm doing there. Okay. And then the leaf we're going to do with the granny apple. And just stamp a few leaves. Now some of them you could stamp um, coming off of the flower like this and then cut them out as well. I've done that also. So, okay. Now for the sake of time, I've already fussy cut mine out. Just because I have to do some embossing also and I didn't want my video being so long. Okay, so on this same piece, I want to make sure it's big enough. Let me cut these flowers off because otherwise they're gonna embossing powder is gonna stick to it. Okay, let's bring in an embossing buddy. I'll treat that. I'm gonna take the butterfly and the Versamark ink. And I'm gonna stamp the butterfly. Bring in the gold embossing powder. Coat that butterfly. Awesome. That's what it looks like before it's melted. Okay. Alright, now we're going to bring in this piece. 
which is the four by five and a quarter inch layer. And we're going to bring in the rectangle from the swirly frames, the Versamark pad. We're going to stamp, stamp this twice. We're going to stamp it once so that it looks straight and then once a little cattywampus because it's very hard to get it straight on here. And that way, it, if it's crooked, it's all right. It looks intentional like it's crooked. So once straight. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to use the embossing buddy, but it's all right. Make it again. Once crooked. Okay, let's bring in the gold embossing powder. It's not too bad for picking up, didn't pick up too much considering I forgot to do the embossing powder, I mean the embossing buddy. Okay, I have two coffee filters here. I'm going to put one underneath, pick up the other one, and so the bottom one will catch anything I miss. That worked very well. Let's put this aside. Oh, I still need it for a minute. We're going to bring in our flowers. I might stamp them right in here because what did I say? I need six of them. Four, five. I must have an extra. Okay. I normally don't do even numbers, but that's what looked the best. Bring in the first mark and that little tiny spot out of the. We're going to just stamp the center. Just gives it a little bit of something, something in the center of each flower. And I actually did a mine on my first one after the flowers were attached to my card because I felt it needed it, but I thought it'd be easier to do it this way. Um, where's the cover to this? Okay. I'm going to dip each one in the powder. And then I'm going to heat emboss them. I'm going to bring in my heat gun. And I'm going to emboss all these pieces. Okay, so let me put this away. And I'm going to put you on pause and go emboss these, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm on my last little bit here. I just want to show you how it comes to shine from that gray powdery form. So I'm just going to emboss this last um, little piece, and I have it on a wooden cutting board because keeps my surfaces protected and it helps with the embossing of uh, the paper not getting too warped because it absorbs some of the heat. So a little bit more here. The cord is kind of short, so I've got to move the paper so instead of the machine. Okay. We're done with the embossing. And you see how shiny that is now instead of that gray dullness? All right, now we're going to punch out the butterfly. So we'll bring in the butterfly punch. We see in it, okay. Put it in here. Line it up. And then 
punch it. Alright. And now we can put our card together. We've got one more thing to stamp. In the center of this, we need to stamp to celebrate you. And I used, I think I used brown ink, but. Used your early espresso. I forgot I'd use that. All right. Celebrate you. Stamp that about here. Okay, awesome. All right, now we can assemble this. We're going to bring in our flowers. With the butterfly, I'm going to just fold up its wings a little bit. I just use my fingers and just kind of curl it just a little bit. Just to give it just a little bit of something something other than flat on the card. That's going to go over here. I'm going to use Tombow to glue that on. But you know what? I think I'm going to glue this to my card base first before I assemble it. Because it will be a little bit easier to do. So let's glue this to the front of our card. I'm going to use Snail. center of that. Okay. No more leaves. I've got some that I glued with the leaves together, so going to get popped up here. And I have a couple that go down here, one that goes up here, and then the butterfly goes there. And then I have some leaves. these down. Okay. This one's going to get glued flat. Here's the Tombow. My plastic came off of it because it was sliding up the card so I just took it off. I'll go there. This one will get popped up with a dimensional. Using the edges of last that one. Weaves down. Okay, these two will get glued on. Let's glue this one first. See, I don't use much glue, very little bit. This one will get dimensional. Okay, this one will get a dimensional and the leaves will get flat. The 
this leaf I think I'm going to put on a dimensional. glue on the back of the butterfly's bat body. Find the spot for it over here. There you go. There's our card for today. There's the one that I did previous. Well thank you for joining me at my craft table. I hope you have a great rest of your day.